Well, welcome back to our White Flag devotionals. Hey, as you ask yourselves the questions that we laid out yesterday, as you seek Him to reveal to you the answers that He has for you, um, we just want to make sure that we're truly pushing in and listening to God. And here's the questions, just so you're reminded of them. The first one is, um, have you surrendered your life to Jesus Christ for salvation? Obviously, that's, that's the big one. Have you truly surrendered and given over your life to him? Have you submitted to him and making, made him Lord and Savior of your life? Are you surrendering your life in a way that is allowing you to experience sanctification? Truly, your, your mind being transformed and, and, and you're walking and growing with him. Are you strategically surrendering areas of your life so that you can participate in the great commandment and the great commission? That, that, so there's nothing in the way of you fully loving God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. So that you really can love your neighbor as yourself. So that you can participate in this great mission that we've been called to of making disciples, that, to, to make disciples. Are you surrendering things? Is surrendering your life in a way that helps you do this? And then lastly, and specifically, what are you going to surrender for the next eight weeks that will help you focus on Christ during this season? We want to make sure that we are preparing our hearts to encounter God, to really listen to him during this season. In Proverbs 4.20, it's, it says this, My son, be attentive to my words, incline your ear to my sayings. Now, asking someone to incline kind of gives a, a visual picture. It bring, brings up the image of someone leaning forward or taking a step closer, closer kind, of, kind of leaning down to, to really get a clear understanding of what someone is saying. The point is that these words are not to be passively taken in. They're, they're to be actively, intentionally, carefully pondered. Simply hearing something wise doesn't do anything unless the listener pays close attention to it. This corresponds to many other verses in Proverbs, which encourages us to listen to wide, wise counsel, godly counsel. In the New Testament, Jesus uh, cautioned us to pay attention to what you hear, says in Mark 24. Now, in this context, he had just gotten done talking about the parable of the sower, talking about different soils and, and where seed was being thrown and what was happening because of the soil. And he sums it up by basically saying that the seed that, fought, that fell on the good soil represents the word that hears accept and show how well they accept it by bearing fruit in their lives. It is important, therefore, to welcome God's word with open ears and with an open heart. Is your heart prepared to listen to God today? Is your heart prepared to listen to God during this season of surrender? I'm going to call you guys to take time today to read the other passages of Scripture that are listed on the calendar, the reading plan for you today. Pray through them. Think about them ponder them, ask God to speak to you through them. Pray, listen, and seek God so your hearts are prepared for this season of surrender. Thanks for being with us.